Hey everyone, hey brothers and sisters. So I show a lot of what's trending on YouTube and the point I always make is that it's not like really naturally trending. They put things in place like agendas in this world, the gender agenda is one of them and they push and promote it here. They're not gonna push and promote the Bible or Jesus Christ our Lord. They're not gonna push and promote that. And if they do, it's to mock him or it's to deny him in many, many ways. People seem to deny him, even though I'm trying to be very honest with people that he changes your life so dramatically that you see things quite differently. I was, it, it was like I was asleep before and had blinders on. I had scales on my eyes and he took them off. And there's no way me and my brothers and sisters who see and identify with all of what this world is now, we've realized the meaning of life it's to have faith in Jesus Christ and all else comes after that. So trending on YouTube. Philosophy Tube is a popular channel. A trans coming out story. It's trending once. And it's trending here again. This is a man that wants to dress like a woman and become a woman. A lot of this trends on YouTube and the world's pretty positive about it. I'm not here to necessarily be negative about it, but it goes against God's ways. There's no competition who's a worse sinner or who's a better saint. We, we are all fallen and have our flaws. We all need Jesus Christ. He is not religions of the world or what you think. He's the savior of the world. He's God in man's flesh. So trans agenda trending a couple of times this man is dressing like a woman now and not every person who does these signs and symbols does them on purpose but it is very hard for me and my brothers and sisters i will speak for you brothers and sisters because right trusting the world and people that do these hand signs it's like oh well this one person's different probably so it's it's hard to believe that so if this person here philosophy tube they're trending for, for they're trending in YouTube for changing their gender. They are doing the vow of silence here on one of their uh, video JPEGs, video whatever it's called. I can't remember thumbnail, and they are there in a NASA astronaut suit promoting fake space. Yes, myself and many other people, not everyone, believe that they have been lying about many many things. Where we live is actually one of them. But the point of this video is to point out what trends on YouTube. It's never Jesus in the Bible. It's always agendas of the world, man and woman and Satan, believe it or not. And then it's the vow of silence and promoting fake space. And like, it's like a cartoon now with the, look, the eye and the triangle. Ah, oh, they're just joking around. Like, <laughs> right, brothers and sisters, the Illuminati, right? They, it, it's, they want to make it seem like a joke. It's all conspiracy theories, right? So don't look into it. And the mainstream people listen to the mainstream news and think everything's mainstream fine when it's mainstream not. It is not fine in the world. I can't believe how much of the world is sold out. Do you, anyone listening to me now, like, do you really understand that it is eternity at stake, up or down, good, bad? Like, it's actually quite simple and it's real. How do I know this? Because the world screams that it's biblical. God had to intervene in my life, remove the scales from my eyes to let me to, to give me eyes to see reality, which is, it's not my favorite at first. It was pretty scary. And it's like, I don't like it a lot of the time, but it's the truth. And I'm working with it. I'm following after Jesus Christ, not religions of the world. And there's no way that me and brothers and sisters have come together agreeing on a lot of things, not everything. We're not, you know, we disagree on little things here and there, but seeing signs and symbols, it's clear. And people that are doing the signs and symbols and act innocent about it, like, oh, I didn't know. I'm just, I'm just putting triangles over my eyes. Come on. Like something like that. It's like, you know, we see the man behind the curtain. We see Satan behind the curtain. He has been deceiving us and he's the father of lies. He's called that for a reason. God calls him the father of lies because he's very good at them. He's the OG of lying. Brothers and sisters, 
Thank you for listening to me. If you are someone that does not believe in Jesus Christ, honestly, truthfully seek it out with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Like, if you do that, you will see him. You will see that he's real. God bless you.